Namaste guys, happy Twin Flame Tuesday. So I will be adding something new um, to my group. I will be adding live videos. Um, hey Erica, so I just wanna announce that I'm super excited. I have my very own Twin Flame Oracles um, and these are channeled messages on the Twin Flame journey from the Divine Feminine, from the Divine Masculine. So I will be doing a short mini 15 minute reading today. Um, I also will be, if you guys wanna start following me on TikTok and if you wanna follow me on YouTube, um, I'm gonna be offering a promotion. So the first um, two people who follow me on YouTube, um, if you like and subscribe to my channel, I will be offering a one hour free session with me. So if you guys can close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Exhale, inhale again. Exhale, and lastly, taking this moment to set your sacred intention on any messages you need from your Ascended Master Spirit Guides and Angels, any clarity. Taking this moment to just breathe in. And exhale, taking a deep breath into your heart, calling forward on your guides, your angels. And coming back and namaste. Okay guys, let's get rolling with our um, love twin flame reading. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might have to move my little bowl. Sorry guys. I have like the smallest table ever doing this reading and I have like four decks of cards. Okay, I'm using Romance Angels right now. So angels, what do we need to know? Um, so flirt. So for some of you, I feel like you're still being a little guarded and your angels are asking you to allow that to move forward. Hi, Tommy. Um, there is a lot of chemistry in this union, so don't give up on the union. Um, and take, guys, this is a general meeting, reading, so take only as it resonates. So there is new love coming in. So for some of you, if you are married and if you are in a rock steady relationship for a long time, this love will be ignited. If you are separated on your twin flame journey and you have had very little contact from your twin, your angels are letting you know that a soulmate is coming forward and there is new love coming in. Um, you always have free will, so it's your choice whether you wanna, and then at the bottom of the deck is this could be the one. So for those of you who missed my Twin Flame Oracle deck cards, these are channeled by me and I channeled them um, on 222. So let's see, okay, what is going on with the Divine Feminine? I guess her throat chakra is black because cards aren't coming out. Ego is blocking me and I'm too scared to move forward with you. So for some of the Divine Feminines, um, and just so you guys know, I've had three clients unite on the twin flame journey within last two weeks so give me a second chance okay so for some of you you are feeling a little blocked you you actually walked away from the divine masculine so you're now asking divine masculine to give you a second chance um i lied about my feelings for you so some of you did were not truthful and just walked away and shut them out i had to lose you to find me um this is you, for some of you, I'm getting a codependency and you were too much, it, for some of you, it was, it was a little bit of an obsession and you were too much involved in the union and too obsessed with the divine, with your divine counterpart. So your angels are saying this had to happen for some spiritual growth. Um, I'm still healing from codependency. And one more, clarity is on this doorstep. So for you, for someone for the Divine Feminines, there was a huge shift with the Eclipse Portal. We just ended the Divine Mercury Retrograde went direct. Um, you're now gonna be start, you're gonna start feeling the energies from the new moon in Cancer, which is about love, loving yourself, allowing love to come in. Okay, mask, what's going on with your Divine Masculine? I get lost in your eyes. Um, I'm in need of an energy clearing. So I do feel that you're currently your divine masculine is going through a tower moment. Um, they're struggling with my throat chakra is getting blocked. So I feel like something is going on with their Akashic 
Akashic Records something. They weren't very truthful about their emotions. And I'm getting some discomfort in my back. So I feel like um, they are not letting go of their past. Um, I fear your rejection. So for some of your Divine Masculines, they want to come forward. But there's, there's so much fear of rejection that it's like they're literally... Your angels and guides are showing me that their feet are like in cement and they're not able to move forward. Um, I feel betrayed. So for some of them, I feel your divine masculine, your counterpart, not gender related, is they either betrayed themselves or they feel that you betrayed them because you walked away. Uh, but what I'm getting from your angels, it was necessary. You needed to lose you to find, you needed to, I had to lose you to find me. You needed to lose him to find you. So you did have to walk away and that was necessary for spiritual growth. What if I was sent as your angel to take care of you? So deep down inside, your twin and your counterpart understand that there is a huge significance in your life and they are there for a reason. Um, I'm in hermit mode to heal. So if there is no contact, there is no communication from your counterpart, it is because they are currently healing they, um, they're literally showing me like a little hermit in a cave and their man cave and they're not coming forward out of fear of rejecting. They feel betrayed. Um, they do need an energy clearing. Okay. What's going on with the union? Thank you, angels. Um, I want to snuggle. So deep down inside your divine masculine is a little teddy bear and they do miss you and they do have strong feelings from you. Um, I'm healing from toxic behavior on the Divine Feminine side for the union. Okay, any more angels for the Divine Masculine? I think love is hard. So your counterpart grew up maybe from a broken um, marriage. Like maybe their parents weren't together or their parents fought a lot. I'm hearing a lot of toxic energy. Um, so your counterpart thinks love is really hard. And they think that this union is hard and it sometimes they just want to give up on the union um i heard your favorite song today the divine feminine so your counterpart could be communicating through you through music um so a song that you hear on the radio or you just may get a random song in your head and that's coming from your counterpart i want to work on me to be the best version of you and that's what your your counterpart is doing so they're working on themselves they're healing themselves to at the end of the day be the best versions of themselves for you i'm protecting my heart i don't want to be hurt so i feel like the divine masculine has been through so much so she's tired of getting hurt so she is in this protection mode um so your angels are asking you to let go of the past let go of the hurt the blame the guilt the anger let that go clean slate and bring in like allow love and forgiveness to come in and at the bottom of the deck we have i'm listening to my intuition so let's get these are um messages love oracle messages okay angels thank you so much what do our viewers need to know today these are hard to shuffle guys so let's do this Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present and joy. So it's important for you guys to feel that magnetic surge coming through you. Um, if your, vibra your vibration is low, you're going to be like low. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, so it's so important for you guys to keep your vibration super high. Activate your heart light so that your counterpart can hear you coming in. Um, I haven't been able to be in a while. I love seeing these. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So for some of you and friendship. Um, so for some of you, you're like, this is too, too, like you're, you're still doubting it. And the more we doubt, the more we end up manifesting and pushing it further away. So your angels are saying, believe. So I know and it's hard, like let go and believe. Um, so let go. Surrender is what I'm hearing. Surrender it to the divine instead of trying to work at it so hard. Love isn't hard and a relationship shouldn't be that hard. It's just we wrap too much. It becomes an obsession or we become too codependent and we don't heal from it. So we start bringing then our trauma, our drama to this relationship and it kind of becomes a little too heavy. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So 
let's get some more guidance then from our angels. Okay, angels, what guidance does this divine feminine need? Oh, open your heart. So your angels are asking you to keep your heart open and see how it's like the lovers there, the king and the queen. So that's the divine feminine, the divine masculine. Your angels are asking you to open your heart to love. So how do we do that? We have to come from a place of love and forgiveness. We can't hold all that anger, all that blame, all that hurt um, in our heart because you can't hold both at the same time. Three of abundance. So you're, you're very passionate about this relationship and allow this relationship to just, um, they're showing me like a lotus. So a lotus grows in mud and it will blossom when it's ready. So everything is in divine timing, not human timing. And sometimes we try to rush stuff. So three of emotions, allow yourself, and I was guided to read this one. A wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, graduations are being revealed. New friends will be made or commitments of like-minded people will draw closer to you. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. And what I'm hearing is that the divine masculine has the key to happiness in his heart. All he has to do is unlock it and that's how he's gonna be um, in a more peaceful place. And for the union, two of action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you continue to move forward. It may be time to take a new partner who can help you in success or your career and creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So this goes along with new love. So for some of you, um, you will be getting a soulmate coming in. Um, the soulmate will be helping you with love. Um, will be helping you with your career. Um, they're showing me like he's in emperor mode. So he's somebody who um, has his stuff together. Could be like an investor, could be somebody who's actually here to help you move forward with your journey. Um, and you have to just welcome him with an open heart. Um, so that's it, that's all I have. Um, I am sending you guys so much love and so much light. Um, I will be doing a YouTube video, so if you guys wanna follow me there, um, also, if you subscribe and like my YouTube channel, oh, I also will be doing one on TikTok. Um, you will qualify to win a one hour free session with me, which is $155 value. So much love and light guys. Namaste. And thanks for being here. Bye. Thank you.